Thank you for selecting a Pulsatron chemical metering pump for your application. This installation guide is intended to assist you with the installation of your new Pulsatron pump. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual that was provided with your pump and always adhere to all local, state, and national codes. Also, be sure to use appropriate personal protective equipment such as gloves and eye protection to keep you safe in the event of contact with your chemical. Carefully open the package and inspect the contents for obvious shipping damage. If damage is noticed, please contact Pulsal Feeder immediately. The pump is provided with all the connection accessories necessary for safe operation of the product. The carton should contain the metering pump, a 4 foot length of flexible suction tubing, an 8 foot length of stiff white discharge tubing for the service connection, and a 4 foot length of stiff white discharge tubing to be used for the bleed return to the chemical supply tank, an injection valve assembly, a bleed valve assembly, a foot valve with strainer, a ceramic weight, and the installation and operation manual. If your pump was ordered with any of the optional external control functions like external pace or 4 to 20 milliamp control, the cables for these functions will also be included. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the four regent screws to ensure that the shipping did not affect the factory setting. It is important that your pump is mounted to a secure surface to prevent tipping during operation. Install fasteners appropriate for the mounting surface in the four holes of the pump foot. These are not provided with your pump. The pump may be mounted either above the liquid level, which is called a suction lift condition, or below the liquid level, which is called a flooded suction condition. The liquid level in the chemical tank should always be below the injection point to the service to prevent a condition called siphoning, where liquid can flow directly from the tank into the service. If this is not possible, an anti-siphon device must be included in the discharge line of your pump. All connections will be made by hand and no tools should be used for these connections. First connect the suction fitting to the chemical supply tank. Slide the valve cap onto the length of clear PVC tubing and then force the tubing onto the suction valve nipple as far as you can push it by hand. Push up the suction valve cap to engage the threads of the suction valve and tighten the cap as firmly as you can by hand. Cut the other end of the suction tube to allow foot valve strain assembly to hang within an inch of the bottom of the supply tank, but do not allow enough length for it to touch the bottom of the tank or to lie on its side on the bottom of the tank. Attach the foot valve assembly to the tube in a similar fashion as you did to the suction fitting of the pump. Slide the weight, then the cap onto the tube, Push the tube onto the nipple and tighten the cap by hand. Next, connect the bleed valve assembly to the discharge fitting of the pump. There is a small Teflon O-ring included with your pump. This is placed in the groove on top of the discharge valve and then the bleed valve assembly is screwed down onto the discharge valve hand tight. Whenever this valve is removed for service, the O-ring must be replaced. Next, connect the bleed tubing from the bleed valve to the chemical supply tank. Slide the cap onto the tubing, then press the tubing onto the bleed valve nipple as firmly as possible. Engage the cap and tighten by hand as firmly as possible. Cut the other end of the tubing to the appropriate length to allow it to pass into the chemical supply tank. Installation of the discharge tubing is next. Slide the cap onto the tubing and press the tubing onto the discharge nipple as firmly as possible. Then tighten the cap by hand. Secure this tubing as best as possible to a rigid support leading from the pump to the injection point. The injector has a half inch MPT male thread intended to be inserted into a half inch NPT female thread for connection to the service. The thread on the injector should be wrapped with Teflon tape prior to insertion and tightened moderately tight with a small wrench. Cut the discharge tubing to the appropriate length and attach in a similar fashion. Slide in the cap onto the tube, then pressing the tube onto the injection nipple and tighten the cap by hand as firmly as possible. If the pump is feeding directly into a sump without a pipe connection, the injector must still be used as it provides back pressure for the pump and is a barrier 
preventing the service fluid from mixing with the chemical in the discharge tubing. With all connections secure, it is time to make the electrical connections. If your pump is equipped with external control options, connect the cord or cords for these controls at this time. If your pump is equipped with a selector switch, set that to the off position. If your pump does not have a selector switch, please remember that the pump will begin operating as soon as it is supplied with power. Route the power cord in a protected manner to the electrical outlet and secure it to a rigid surface if possible. Then plug it in. Pump now installed and ready to be used. This video is to show you how to install a Pulsatron pump. If you need more information, please contact your local sales representative, Pulsatron.com, or technical services.